This video explains how to drop duplicates in a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a very first step in this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we can print this data frame below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that our new data frame contains seven rows at the three columns x1, x2 and x3. You might already notice that some of the rows are duplicates. So for instance, the first three rows contain exactly the same values in all of the columns in our data frame. So let's assume that we want to drop all of the duplicates of our data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in these lines of code, I'm first creating a copy of our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame and I'm calling this copy data new one. And then in the next line of code, I'm applying the drop duplicates function to this data frame and I'm storing the output of this in our data frame object data new one. So after running this line of code, our data frame is updated as you can see by printing the new data frame because below the code box, you can see that we have removed several rows from our data frame. And you can also see that all of the rows in our subset of the data frame are unique. In this example, we have dropped duplicates based on all the columns in our data set. However, we might also drop duplicates based on a subset of columns. And this is what I want to show you in the second example of this tutorial in the fourth code box. So as in the previous example, I'm first creating a copy of our data frame and then I'm again using the drop duplicates function. However, this time I'm specifying the subset argument within the drop duplicates function to be equal to the columns based on which I want to remove the rows from our data set. So in this case, I want to search for duplicates only in the columns x1 and x2. And as in the previous example, I'm storing the output of this in our new data frame object data new2. And then I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, after running these lines of code, another data frame subset is returned. And in comparison to the previous output, you might notice that the fourth row with the index value four has been dropped as well. And the reason for that is that this row is a duplicate in the columns x1 and x2 with the third row. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.